Hi, welcome back to the rest of 7.12. You are going to need your math journal and a pencil for this section, so go ahead and grab that if you don't already have it. Sorry for the background noise. My dog is fighting with his bed. Okay, so today we're talking about fractions as part of collections, meaning that the whole is a whole collection of things versus one piece. So in this problem, my whole is four, and this is my workspace below. What if I drag one piece into my workspace? How much have I dragged in? What fraction? I've dragged one fourth in, and the remaining part of the collection is three fourths, three of the fourth. Okay, what if instead I dragged two in. Well, the fraction of the collection that's in the box is two fourths or one half. And the fraction outside the box is two fourths or one half of the collection. Okay. All right, let's try another problem. This time I have eight counters or eight circles. Right now I have zero eighths in my box and I have eight eighths outside of my box. Eight of my eighths are there, but I can change that. I can drag some in. So this time, what if I drag in five? Well, I could say that five eighths of the counters are in the box while three eighths of the counters are outside of the box. And I can do that for any um, combination of counters for this problem. I can always have a fraction that represents the part of the whole. We can also use this thinking to figure out what the whole is. So for example, what if I say, well, I have a pile of counters and four is half of the pile. Four is one half of my whole. How many counters are in the whole pile? Well, I know that one half means there's equal number on both sides. So if there are four on half of it, then the other side has to have four as well. So the whole, the whole collection would have eight counters because four is one half of eight. Ooh, my handwriting, gracious. Four is one half of eight. I could also solve another problem. I could say there are eight crayons in one box. How many crayons would be in two boxes? So I need two holes. One hole has eight, so another hole would also have eight. So two holes, two whole boxes equals 16 crayons. I'm gonna pose a few more problems to practice. Okay, six birds were in a tree, one flew away. What fraction flew away and what fraction of the birds stayed? Well, we have to look at the problem to find out what the whole is first. The whole is six birds. That's my denominator. The numerator is what we're interested in. So what fraction flew away? One of those six flew away. One sixth flew away. The staying birds would be five out of the six. Five sixths stayed. The whole is six and the one and the five are the pieces that we're interested in. We could also think of it like this. Susan, Susan shared 16 stickers equally with her friend. What fraction did each person get? Well, when you share something equally with one other person, that means you are dividing it into half. You want to share it between two people. So half of 16 is eight. So I could say that each person gets one half or each person gets eight of the 16. 
both of those answers are okay. 8 sixteenths or one half. Okay, last problem before we move to the math journal. Troy and Camille each have eight pencils. Two eighths of Troy's pencils are broken and six eighths of Camille's pencils are broken. Who has fewer broken pencils? Well, I'm comparing two eighths of the same whole to six eighths of the same whole. And I know that when my denominators are the same, they're the same size pieces, I can look at the numerators. Whichever is smaller means it's a smaller fraction. So I would say that Camille has more broken pencils than Troy, so Troy has fewer broken pencils. Okay, go ahead and turn to Math Journal page 249. I'm going to do the first problem with you, and then you're gonna finish by doing the rest of the page and a little bit more. All right, the problem on this page says, number one, two people share a collection of eight pennies equally. How many pennies does each person get? Okay, so I could draw a picture and I think I'm going to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I want to divide this evenly between two people, that means divide down the middle, each person is going to get four pennies and the fraction that they get is one half. Another way that you could write it is four out of eight. Each person gets four of the eight pennies or you could also say one half. You're going to do the same thing that we just did for numbers two, three, and four. And then when you finish, you can do the math box on page 250. I'm also posting some extension problems or extension pages for you to work on if you finish early. Good luck, see you tomorrow.